Hi, it's Annette here. Welcome to my pelvic care course. In this video, we do a guided Kegel without any detailed explanation. Step one, relax and settle your pelvis. Soften your belly and breathe. Release any tension in your body. Relax your face, shoulders, and hips. Step two, meet Romeo and Juliet. Take your tailbone and your pubic bone and draw them toward each other. Hold for three, two, one, and release. Step three, meet your sitting bones, left and right sitting bone together in the middle. Hold for three, two, one, and release. Step four, close your urethral sphincter and lift the urogenital triangle. Draw the three points of your triangle toward the center and lift up. Hold for three, two, one, and release. Step five, squeeze your anal sphincter. Squeeze and lift your anal sphincter now. Hold for three, two, one, and release. Step six, lift your perineum. Lift and hold three, two, one, and release. Step seven, close and lift your vaginal opening as if you're trying to lift it toward the back of your spine. Hold for three, two, one, and release. Now that we have done each step individually, we'll try them layering on one onto the other. Step one, relax and settle your pelvis. Keep that relaxed sensation. Step two, draw your pubic bone toward your tailbone. Keeping that, squeeze your sitting bones together. Keeping that, lift your urogenital triangle toward the central urethral sphincter. Step five, squeeze your anal sphincter. Step six, lift your perineum. Step seven, close and lift your vaginal opening. Let's hold three, two, one, and release. Let's try it one more time together. Step one, relax and settle your pelvis. Release any tension. So let's keep that relaxed feeling. Draw your tailbone toward your sitting bone. Romeo and Juliet meet. Keep that. Squeeze your sitting bones together. Keep that. Close your urethral sphincter and lift the urogenital triangle. Keep that. Squeeze your anal sphincter. Keeping that, lift your perineum. Keep that. Lift and close your vaginal opening. Let's hold. Three, two, one, and release. Now notice, as you are building the steps, if you held any tension or if you're building any tension elsewhere, it's important to stay soft and relaxed. And again, just have the lift internally in and up. Keep going until you've done 10 repetitions. Over the next several days and weeks, practice until you can hold the muscles tense for a count of 10. Your goal should be to do three sets of 10 repetitions a day.